Have you told your friends that you see ghosts? Oh, absolutely not. Gina Rodriguez returns in Not Dead Yet. I'm back, baby. Who is that? Oh, she's the obituary writer. And Brad Garrett joins the brilliant ensemble cast. Titan, Maverick, Titan of all Mavericks. These are all words used to describe me. Baby, I got you shook. Got you shook. Not Dead Yet. Season premiere tonight, 8 30, 7 30 Central on ABC and stream on Hulu. It's the Happy Families Podcast. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Cut! And the Oscar goes to... Ah! Oh my God! Santa here? I know him. Well, Christmas is just around the corner. Have you noticed, Kylie, there's this switch between... We're, we're in, in one breath, we're relaxed, and in the next breath, we're stressed. Like, we're trying to slow things down because everyone's going on holidays, but there's so much to do. There's so much going on. I just want to slow down. I'm not doing anything. I'm just hoping the kids are all going to catch up with me. Mm. Uh, there's a favourite quote or of mine. Not. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> uh, there's a favourite quote of mine that, um, and it's particularly pertinent at this point of the year, uh, when your kids are uh, in your arms, they can't possibly be underfoot. Because a lot of parents at the moment are saying, oh, the kids are just under my feet all the time and I'm trying to get stuff done and they're sitting around staring at screens and doing nothing. We have got some solutions. Oh, by the way, I'm Justin. You're Kylie. Uh, parents of six kids, happyfamilies.com.au. Uh, the Happy Families podcast is bringing you some solutions for Christmas joy, Christmas bliss. I know that not everybody wants their kids to be watching screens all the time, but the reality is sometimes you kind of just have to, right? Just to get through and keep sane. So we've compiled. Well, how do you get the presents wrapped if they're not staring at a screen? <laughs> That's right. You've got to stay up late and then you're tired the next day and cranky. <laughs> So we have compiled a list of our top, I was going to say top five, but there's no way we're going to, last time we talked favourite movies, we ended up having like poor old JR, our producer, instead of doing our top five movies for whatever it was, we ended up doing like 30. So supposedly this is going to be our top five Christmas movies for the kids, although I think we're going to veer into some adult ones as well, uh, to help your family to have a happy Christmas, but also so that you can have some peace and quiet. The kids can be watching Christmas. Everyone can be getting into the spirit of Christmas. The Christmas music can be on. That's the jingle bell. That's where we're going today. Everyone can be, I don't know, baking gingerbread. How? How? Everyone. everyone. Are you going to bake gingerbread how, this year? I was about year? to say, how unrealistic is what I just said? I've gone for the nostalgia, the romanticised <laughs> version of what's happening. Truth is, nobody's going to be doing any of that sort of stuff except for the one poor soul. Who We've only up. just got the Christmas tree up, for goodness <laughs> it's sake. It's still not decorated. There's literally a green Christmas tree sitting in the corner with no decorations. Well, it's surrounded by all my green plants. It actually doesn't look too bad, naked. Yeah. <laughs> I nearly said something I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's talk about um, Christmas movies before we the G-rated ones before we get too sidetracked with all that sort of stuff. Kylie, if you were to pick your all-time favorite family Christmas movie, what would it be? I I would have once upon a time said The Polar Express. I'm wishing on a star. Well, you coming? Where? Why to the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. Yeah, we used to love that film. But last year, when we watched a movie a night for each day leading up to Christmas, we got introduced to so many new movies, and I now have a few favourites. By the way, just before you talk about your favourites, uh, I think it's worth highlighting that we took on more than we could handle <laughs> by saying, let's watch one Christmas movie each day with the kids or each night. Uh, that was exhausting. I couldn't stand it. It was just too much TV and too many things to do. Anyway, we did it, and now you've got a whole new list of favourites. Well, and we can thank our staff for that because they actually introduced us to a couple that have now become literally my top three. Okay. So, number one? I'm going to say Klaus. Uh, Mr. Klaus, you have a gift. You were meant for making toys. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's a Netflix special. Uh, what you know, you th- the background behind Klaus was that because it was such a, an untraditional story, DreamWorks and Disney wouldn't pick it up. Right, so Netflix, Netflix said, thanks did. very much. Netflix has got an unlimited budget. Let's do whatever we want. 
And I just love the take on the Christmas story mm. that this movie portrays. So for those of you who haven't seen it, there's a boy who's being raised by a very rich dad. Rich dad's very cranky at the boy. It's a cartoon, by the way, uh, because he's entitled and selfish. And, and rich dad owns like the postal system in their country. So he sends his son to the most far-reaching outpost. Smerenberg. It's labelled the saddest place on earth. And you see it in the depiction of the animation. Everything. Yeah. It's just grey. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? This is Smearinsburg, the unhappiest place on earth. And, and the, there are two warring yeah, families who just hate each other and there is no postage service there. Like nobody actually... Because no one writes a letter. <laughs> everybody hates each other. And, and it's the story of how this young man... He, well, it's a coming of age and it's, it's a hero story. He he saves the town. He becomes a person who falls in love with the spirit of Christmas and changes everything. It's a, it's a great movie. My second one is going to be Arthur Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. That's a ho, 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 ho. Field elves jingle. Jingle, jingle. Drop time 18.14 seconds for household. We've got a staff member, Elizabeth, who told us how great... Arthur Christmas was, and it was a, it was an absolute joy. We made it! I survived. Mm, I'll walk home. I'll get a boat, but I am never getting back in that crazy flying death trap ever again. I just I loved it. Here's this kid. He's Santa Claus's son, and he just loves Christmas, but he gets in the way He's a of klutz. everything. <laughs> but he ends up actually saving Christmas this time. What's your third one? It's actually Evelyn's favourite. Mm-hmm. She. Oh, and Craig's. Oh, is it Craig's as well? Elf. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. So much fun. I probably would never, ever have watched this. It has Will Ferrell on. I don't really like him very much as an actor. And I probably wouldn't have put it in as a kid's movie as a result of him being in it. He, he is absurd. He's absolutely ridiculously over-the-top absurd. You stink. I think you're going to have a good Christmas, all right? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> He's an imposter! That's what makes it so delightful. It's so good. So are there any other great kids' Christmas movies that you think we should mention? Because that's only three. I said we were going to do like our top five. I don't think you can go past a Christmas movie list without giving a mention to Home Alone. I made my family disappear. We all grew up with that movie and it still has to be on the top, I'd say top ten movies ever. Great slapstick comedy, and our children, even our teenagers, watch that and laugh their heads off. Marth! Harry? Why the hell did you take your shoes off? Why the hell are you dressed like a chicken? I'm up here, you morons! Come and get me! You guys give up, or you're thirsty for more? And the last one I'm going to mention would be Santa Claus with Tim Allen. What, you put on a little weight? A little weight? Does this look like a little weight to you? Um, weight can fluctuate from year to year. Fluctuate? You make it sound like I'm retaining water. I've gained 45 pounds in a week. Here's this guy <laughs> who single-handedly destroys Christmas by interrupting Santa as he's trying to go down a chimney and he falls off the roof. Whoa, whoa. Who's Santa or Tim Allen? Santa. Okay. And so he's, his son sees it all happen. He goes, you have literally killed Christmas. You've killed You've Santa. You've killed Santa. <laughs> right. So much fun. After the break, we're going to talk about a handful of other Christmas movies that may or may not suit the whole family, but you as a parent might really enjoy. It's the Happy Families Podcast, the podcast for the Thai poor parent who just wants answers now. And hopefully today we've given you a few options to keep the kids occupied so you can do your santering. If, if that's necessary. Wink, yeah. wink. So uh, there's a couple of movies that we didn't mention that I think need a, an honourable uh, recognition. Uh, the first one is Christmas Chronicles. Christmas time, pretty baby And the snow is falling on the ground Now, you actually were putting it on your list and I said, oh, you know, it's not really that good. 
You're a trickster. You just did it so you could have it on yours. No, no, no. It's not what happened. What actually happened was that we watched the um, we watched the trailer, and I was like, oh, that is a really good movie. I did enjoy that movie quite a lot. And of course, there are a couple of other movies that, again, Christmas Confession. Not only have I not seen the Santa Claus, I haven't seen Bad Santa. What about the reindeer? Would you please shut up about reindeer? And I haven't seen The Holiday. You're not Iris. Or if you are, I'm much drunker than I realised. But everybody says that those are must-watch grown-up movies for Christmas. So oh, I guess we're going to have a few movie nights then. I, I still don't know if I want to watch them, to be honest. But everyone's been saying, you've got to talk about those movies. They're amazing. So we've talked about them, even though we haven't seen them. Is that cheating? That's so <laughs> cheating. Uh, Seriously, I hope you don't get in trouble. You don't even know what's in them. On top of that, though, I think we've got to acknowledge, while Christmas is not uh, a a time of faith for everybody, there are a lot of people who listen to the podcast and there are millions upon millions, tens of millions of people around the world who do have a religious faith. And there are some really wonderful, religiously oriented, faith-producing, faith-promoting movies about the nativity. Different churches have them. They're available online. They're often free. And uh, we'll link to a couple of those in our show notes for those who are interested in um, some nice nativity movies and things that will help you to have the actual Christmas story um, sans Santa. No Santa in these ones. Um, Instead, uh, the religious foundations of where Christmas comes from. And I think that sometimes it's nice to just pause and say, this is meaningful. Even if it's not your religious faith, to talk to the kids about what the background is, find one of the short ones, the the 10 or 20 minute ones that just step through it. I think that that can help us to, to appreciate what Christmas is all about for millions and millions of people around the world. We really hope that you've enjoyed the Happy Families podcast today and that it's given you a little bit of inspiration or just some nice reminiscence about how good the entertainment can be around Christmas time. We hope that these movies inspire you and your family to goodness and kindness and service and fun for this Christmas. The Happy Families podcast is produced by Justin Roulon from Bridge Media. Craig Bruce is our executive producer. And if you'd like more information about making your family happier across Christmas, we did a really well-received webinar called Tis the Season to be Cranky. But there's also another webinar called How to Unspoil Your Kids This Christmas. They're both available in the Happy Families store at happyfamilies.com.au or they're included in a Happy Families premium membership. If you've been thinking about becoming a Happy Families member, you'll get them. You'll get the Christmas inspiration and they're all included in your Happy Families premium membership. Maybe you'd like to try one for Christmas or give one for Christmas. For all the info, visit happyfamilies.com.au. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal.